What's up guys, today we're here back in the arcade once again. We're gonna collect from our coin pushers nice, first. Check nice. this out. So first up, wait, oh, wait, wait. What? Wait. What is, what, what, what is happening? I'll just close this up. Wait. Oh. oh, dang. Yeah guys, so as you can see, we had a dilemma yesterday. Yes. Another dilemma with these coin pushers. Check this out. As you can see, you can open the glass, close it. Is there any money on the field in there, Cody? Do you see any money? Uh, like dollar bills, the dollar bills. Do you see any? I don't. Ooh, guess they're gone. Here's what happened. This metal right here, which, guys, this is some pretty strong metal. Had some kids guess in here. Guess not. <laughs> guess not, because had some kiddos in here. What, they had little tools or something? I'm gonna play the footage, don't worry. But they bent this back and were able to open the glass and take the money. They did it to this one. They did it to this one. They didn't do it to this one. Okay. Why Why not to this one? But they also did it oh. to this one. So guys, if you wanna show your support for our fallen soldiers here, our poor coin pusher plates, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications. We'd really appreciate it. Our coin pushers here would really appreciate it. Now, I think we should go ahead and play that footage for you guys of the two teenagers breaking into our machines. What do you think, Cody? Should we go ahead and play that footage yes. for them so they can see that? Right okay, now. here's the footage, here's the footage. Uh Why do you hate me? All right guys, so as you can see, that was the break-in of these coin pushers. Very unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. Now, we've got another job to do. We have to bend these back into place. Got handyman Cody right oh here. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work. What? Can I be honest with you? Don't say that, dude. We need to get these fixed. What are we gonna do? So it turns out that you don't even need tools. You can just bend these right into place. Oh, Super okay, easy. nice. That's actually a lot easier than having to go around and bend them all. With the it really is. It really is. This is a lot easier. There, there you go. go. I'll tell you guys what. It's a lot easier to bend them back into place than it is to bend them out of place and get the glass. Very open. Guys, true. They, those kids worked on these pushers with those little tools, as you saw, for what, man? A good hour? At least. At least. So, At I mean, least. and here, we're gonna bend it all back into place within what, five, 10 minutes? Yeah, give or take. So, give or take. so that's so. where we're at right now. Pretty good, pretty yeah, good, you pretty can good. See, you can see, yeah, I, you could see it was bending back. Like, it wasn't just straight up anymore. Yeah, it was bending back a lot better. Place. Yeah. Really, it's just a whole trial and error thing, guys. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and see how it looks now. You bent it even more. Yeah. You go close it and we'll see. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. Oh, yeah. Still got a crazy lift there, but. Oh, yeah, we do still have, you guys can see, I, I put my finger in there, but it's not at an angle like this anymore. Yeah, it was at like a complete 90 yeah, degree. Yeah, so. <laughs> as you guys can see, it's not really too hard to bend these back into place and whatnot, so. Just getting some finishing touches just on this. a little this. bit. Yeah. Yeah, just right here on the end, especially, so people can't get their fingers in there and start peeling it back. Right. You know what I mean? Until we get stainless steel on these things. Now, when stainless steel is on these, no one's been it. That's a fact. You're going to break the wood in the door before you're <laughs> you right. the stainless steel. Right. You know. But honestly, I mean, I really thought these were going to be secure enough. I mean, this is... It's pretty strong. A lot harder than our other stuff, but still, I guess, not not tough enough. Just not tough enough. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh! That's pretty good. That's really good, dude. Pretty good, pretty good. It looks like nothing ever happened. Oh! Oh, yeah. You're gonna bend one back, huh? Oh, yeah. I gotta uh, contribute to this. Of course. You know, I gotta put in the labor as well. So, as you guys can see, here's mine at a completely, what, is it 90 degree angle? Pretty much, you know. So pretty much. Go ahead and grab this and just start bending. You know what I mean? Whoosh. Apply pressure. You know, it's like you're a chiropractor. Just yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's me. That's that's joints and stuff cracking and right. all that. You know. <laughs> that's that's sound effects. Pressure. Sound God. effects. <laughs> all right. I think it almost might be ready to see at least where it's at. 
guess we should put this glass down. Yes. There we go. Where are we at right now? Oops. But all in all, man, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, cool. yeah, not too bad at all. Here, I'll show you how I'm, it's looking so far with my first few bends. Like, that's on there. I mean, I can't get my finger that's in there. Yeah, there's like no get. Yeah, so. Actually, that might be, if I just lock it up here, is that actually good? I don't even know if I need to bend it anymore. Like, I, I can't. I think so, man. That's pretty tight. I literally, no, yeah. That's pretty tight. There is no opening there. Mine's done. Man, yeah. I, I'm as quick. On to, should I go ahead and do, can we do the last one? Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll do the last one right here. Bend that. I'm gonna do some big bends here. There you go. Yep. I'm noticing, like, yeah, here in the center, especially, like, it's not as easy to bend, but these corners, they oh, so easy. And even in the footage, you guys saw. I think that's the weakness. Yeah, they were the working. Corners. They were working the corners yeah. in the footage. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh yeah. So I was thinking, like, what if we installed, like, if you, whenever you like go after these corners, I'll put a little flame. <laughs> I'll put a little flamethrower on the yeah. side, so when they Ooh. open up, they're like, oh my god. You know, you know, you know, you guys like Pokemon, I could go catch a Charmander, hey. just set him right in here, but hey, Char Char, when they start, you see something pulling on that from inside, uh -huh. just... Fire blast. That sounds illegal. Good job. And we're back to reality. Good job. Here we go. Yeah, we're almost done bending this one back in place. I think we're gonna go ahead and see how it's looking. Okay. Hopefully this door just shuts. Oh, there you go. Cool. How's that? Okay, so you can see I got a little gap right there, but... Still pretty tight. Other than that, oh, and right there a little bit. But other than that, it's nearly on there, so... I'll finish this up. And we got this one bent back on here. Check Looks that out. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Gotta love it. Gotta do what you gotta do. So, that's all of these all fixed up, but now we gotta get them reloaded. Yes. With quarters. And cash and make them actually playable okay. so we will do that right oh okay. all right guys so we got a bunch of cash right here fives and ones for now we can't have too much temptation around here obviously <laughs> yeah, yeah dear goodness but anyways as you can see we don't really have enough quarters at least for my liking to get them like all really built up on there and make the field look really nice you know what i mean uh -huh. so what we're gonna do is right collect from the Pokemon vending machine oh. and see how much it made on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Four days. Okay. So okay. I'm hoping there's a decent amount of quarters in here because we need some quarters to really get these fields looking nice. So, right, oops. Right. I guess first thing I should do though is set up the scale real quick because we all obviously need to know how much it's going to be in there total. Sure, 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 sure. sure, sure. So, that's all set up. Now, let's see how much the Pokemon card vending machine made in the past four days. Gotcha. Think it's gonna be a nice little amount? I mean, I hope so. How could it not be? It's Me too, me too. Oops, machine. my bad. That's the key for the one that we have at, uh, we just put it at the antique store. Oh. They actually are key different. So here's how much this one made. Oh my God. Oh, oh. hit the camera. <laughs> oh Look at that. Crazy. That's a lot of Pokemon card sales. That's Comment down below, how much? What does it look like? Can you tilt that back for me? Yeah, how many are left in there? Wow, still quite a few. That's true. Well, again, we had it filled really high this time when we came back in here and refilled it, but yeah. last chance to guess how much. Dun, 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 dun. And here's how much. 71 bucks. Nice! And that's, what, last time was around 60 bucks, and that was for like nine days, so yeah. I think it's been picking up ever since we changed it to a holographic every three cards, and people are just learning it's here now. That's true. You know that what I mean? True. So I guarantee you we're getting a lot of regular customers who are liking these cards. We got B cards in there, we got radiant holographic cards, you know? Oh yeah. Some nice cards in there, so. Very thankful for this machine. We will set this guy back in here, take these quarters, load them up on the fields, get the okay. cash on there, and show you guys what it looks like. Show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Let's do it. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, got the coin pushers looking all pretty. Let's it go around to I know, I'm gonna go around to each one real quick and just admire our work here. Yeah. All right, nice, yeah. This one's already, that one, that one was already good. What, what, what? And then, there you go. Not too much temptation, you got fives and ones now. Yeah. Those $20 bills, those kids can't handle it right now. <laughs> yeah. So until we get stainless steel, not gonna do any more 20s, but last thing we're gonna do here for the day is we haven't collected this candy machine for a while because in our last video, I just realized a couple weeks ago on the channel, right. 
we when we collected the whole arcade, mm -hmm. we literally like skipped the candy machine. Not on purpose, but we forgot it. All right. And look, it's like out of candy. Yeah, we're dude. losing money on sales on the gumballs. We got more blow pop gumballs and new labels, nutrition labels to put in it. Cool. From vendinglabels.com. Oh, nice. So we nice. Our labels. And they make, good, they make good labels. Yes, yes they do. So we'll turn this guy around and show you how much is in it for the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Hello? Any guesses? Any guesses? Knock, knock. Oh. oh! Yeah, look at all that. Dang. So, actually, no, we don't want it to show that in there. I need to grab the scale, so pause. Nice. And unpause. Here I am. Get that zero, all set up like that. Zero it out. Now, I can just use this to collect all this. Man, that is a lot of work. But again, it's been a couple of weeks since we've collected from this and you know, one of the few sources of candy around here in this mall, so. All right, guys. Yeah, we're down to the last bit. I want to show you real quick. We got a couple pennies in here and I've seen a couple dimes and stuff, so. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, see, wow. like, here's a nickel, here's another penny. So I just want to tell you guys, it's not going to be an exact amount on there. We're going to have to add it up after the fact and give you the exact amount, but it'll be pretty close. So. There it all is. Boom. Oh. So we'll call that what? We'll call that fifty what? something dollars. Here's the amount. I think like like fifty eight. I mean like there was pennies and nickels in there and stuff. Yeah. Like, that very much. Well, you just saw the amount on screen of how much it is because post production we're gonna go through and count all that up. That's really it for this video though. I mean we've got the pushers fixed for now. We gotta get stainless steel plates on them. We made a little extra money we're gonna take home with us because we don't need any more quarters over there. So with that, we'll see you in our next collection video on the main channel this weekend. Bye-bye!